Hello, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you are having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Leo. Look, see, Eight of Pentacles. And here's a judgment. Seven of Swords. Wow. Six of Wands. Somebody probably... This could have been like a new career. A project that somebody was working on. Somebody thought that they were an expert at something. And I feel like with the judgment card, when you saw this person, oh, this is so clear. You saw this person working with a group of people, a group of friends, colleagues, or whatever. You you were the angel that blew blew the trumpet, blew the horn, and was like, hey, be careful. I know, I know that this is your this is your wheelhouse that you're working on. You know, I, I feel like somebody was you may have even when this person was like, I don't know exactly what this means or how you're doing it, why you're, I don't know. I, I think that you are very humble. The energy that I'm picking up on, and you told this person, but something about whatever you're doing, it's not right. Something about those people, it's not right. This person was in their ego. That they kept on like letting you know, I'm an expert. I'm a master at this. I know what I'm doing. Six of Wands, victory and success. This person, their track record, that's all they care about. I, I'm the best at this. So when you came to this person with a warning, because you weren't an expert at whatever this is, they took it as a joke. Seven of Swords in the reverse. This person, somebody here has gotten caught in the act. Somebody now is going to confess. There's a truth coming out. There's a missing piece coming to some type of story or a conspiracy of some sort. I'm telling you, this has to do with like some kind of... um conspiracy. I'm hearing the word co-conspirator. Somebody is, is now attached. This group of people. Somebody is attached to these people and you have to, you probably told, hey, stop. You don't need to hang out with them. This could even be something like with church. You could have told somebody, I don't know, that, that church that you're visiting, something is, is a little bit off about those people. Are you sure that, you know, they're not worshiping something else or it's something like that that you ask them, are you sure that, you know, those people are who you say or what you say they are? This person was like, how dare you? Like, who are you to talk to me about this? Wow. Somebody really underestimates you. They did not value your your thoughts, your opinion, or or your warning. God sent you as a, war as a, as a messenger to somebody. And now, this person with some type of, the six of wands is success coming in. The fruits of their labor. I feel like whatever this is, especially if this was like a project or something, this is going downhill quickly. Wow. Three of swords. Somebody is heartbroken because they are remembering, man, you told me. You told me not to do this. You told me to look at that contract again. You told me. Strength card in the reverse. I feel like somebody, somebody saw you as weak. Page of Swords, the Nine of Cups. Somebody saw you as weak and they felt like you had some type of hidden jealousy towards them because they was receiving something that was wish fulfillment. This person assumed that because they were getting something or doing something that was going to make them happy and perhaps they weren't doing it with you or it's not something that you have, they assumed that you would be like most people and be jealous and envious. So when you gave them a warning, that's how they saw it. They didn't see any type of good in this. This person thought you were you were weak. You were somebody who was fearful, you know, strength in the reverse, low self-esteem. You don't have any kind of power or control. You don't know how to do something. They're a master at this, and, and you're just somebody on the sidelines watching. This person talked to you with some type of flunky, I guess. And when it came, especially for them, nine of cups, something was supposed to bring them success. But see, I feel like... What this person didn't understand is that you're very intuitive with the moon card. You saw something behind Page of Pentacles, behind this offer. You saw something behind it and you knew Ace of Swords in the reverse that something about this offer was not right. And you told this person, don't go through with this. Protect yourself. Be careful. They thought you were a joke. They thought you were a joke. Wow. I'm telling you. This person is sitting back somewhere right now and they are remembering the very day. Because see, you told this person, this has something to do with a lot of money. Ten of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles. You told this person, I know it's a lot of money on the table. I know that this is your family. I know 
whatever. This is something important and you knew it. You knew it. This was life changing even. You saw this, but still, you need to hold back. Something isn't right. You may have told us somebody here is doing magic or they're manipulating you. This person was like, yeah, I'm not trying to hear that. Look at what you have here. King of Swords in the reverse. Death card in the reverse. King of Wands in the reverse. The World and the Hierophant. Wow. This, wow, justice. This is some kind of partnership. You told somebody not to work with a person or a group. Wow. There is a major confirmation coming. This king of swords in the reverse. <clears throat> this is a very manipulative person. Rude, nasty. They abuse their power. The death card in the reverse. Somebody refused to change. Somebody re refused to learn from lessons in the past. I feel like this is the kind of person. Whoever the main energy is here that you're connected to. This is somebody that you told things to before. Especially like if you are someone who... Um, like I said, if you have some type of intuitive, prophetic, spiritual gift, perhaps, you're known to be the messenger. But people, maybe they don't take you seriously. You you told this you told this person something before, and they didn't listen to you. They saw how that that worked out. They went right up again when you went to this person yet again to warn them. They still didn't listen to you. This person, it's literally deja vu. It's like history is just repeating itself because this person refuses to see you for who you are. They refuse to listen to your gift. They refuse to, to take you seriously. The king of wands in reverse. This, oh my gosh, I'm telling you, this is somebody who wanted some type of upgrade, a level of the king of swords and the king of wands in reverse. This person is not a natural born leader. They're not. And you may have told this person, I don't know if you're really ready for their position. I don't know if you really need to trust the leadership on their team. I don't know if you really need to involve yourself with a family like that. I don't I don't think that this is what you think it is. Be careful. Protect yourself because you may have even told this person something here. It seems like it's illegal. You're not. Did you, you may ask, did you read all the fine print on that contract on that situation? This person was like, I'm the king of wands, king of swords. I'm smart. I take action. I get what I want out of life. I'm this, I'm that. In their ego, right? But you see here, the King of Wands is in the reverse. Somebody literally just pulled up in my house and, and drove away. One second. Yo, sometimes, I don't know if it's you, but sometimes fear just tell you to do certain things. I'm just going to write down their tag number. I don't know why. I, that's not something I normally do, but for some reason, that 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 energy, and maybe this, maybe this like an omen, something about it just seemed off-putting to me. Like, something just made me say, write down their tag number. That's something that could have happened in this situation. So somebody could have collected somebody's tag number. Somebody has been, I'm telling you, somebody is being found guilty of something. And the justice card is here. And you warned a person, you need to be careful with this person, with this group. You don't need to be in the car with those people or whatever. And they just, man, I'm not trying to hear that. <laughs> the world here with the, the hierophant. This could be a group, an organization, a group, the world card. Yeah, I think that somebody, somebody got themselves involved with a group for sure. I'm hearing, I just heard a group of worshipers. So I don't, I don't know who or what they're worshiping. But somebody was under the impression that because these people, whoever these people are from the person that you know, they I feel like they are of a different background, a different religion or something. And this person, they didn't really know, whoever you know, they didn't know enough background about these people. 
there's something here about backgrounds, cultural, some, they did know something about these people, especially when it comes to doing business. I don't know what, I don't know who this person did business with, but I feel like these people are doing business, whoever you know, they're doing business with somebody who is really cutthroat. Something here is not right, it's illegal or whatever, and somebody was perhaps money hungry, very eager to get money to, to come up in leadership or whatever, and they went for this. But see, now something is back. It's a, it was a lot of money on the table here. Somebody, somebody has a family that's into something very dark and wicked. And I feel like somebody here, like this is, if somebody can't pay a loan back or something like that, this is the kind of family or a group or organization, they don't play fair. There's another layer to whatever this situation is that you were able to, to intuitively pick up on and you saw like, oh, that's going to be a problem later. Whoever this is, I was like, nope, I'm doing it because they are so eager, so eager, but they didn't want to change. This is something that a person could have done. It was a bad, um, it was just a bad decision making. Look at that. Ten of Swords in the reverse. Ah, the Ten of Swords in the reverse is literally coming right underneath the Ten of Pentacles. Somebody here did not learn from the past. They didn't learn from the last time they got themselves into some jacked up situation. This right here is, is going to... Somebody here could go to jail or something. Four of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups. See? Somebody here couldn't let go of some kind of fantasy or illusion. They wanted to have, somebody was fantasizing about money, power, success, whatever. And they, they went and they saw some, oh, this person can give me an opportunity and they jumped on it. But see, the thing about you, you are a person who is intuitive and you pay attention to details. That's why I think just a moment ago, like I said, I'm never worried about uh, people turn around in driveways or whatever all the time. No big deal. But for some reason, something said, write their tag number down. And see, that's how I'm obedient like that all the time. I don't care, friend, family member. If, if I feel something off, I'm taking note of it. And in that very moment, this person, they felt like something was off in the situation. I guarantee you, they, they ignored it. This is somebody who ignores their intuition and their conscience because of their ego and their greed. Why is the magician here? Wow. This feels like something big, though. Five of Wands. I'm telling you, the Five of Wands with the magician here. Somebody has tools, resources. The Five of Wands can be chaos, competition. It's conflict. It's a disagreement. See, there's a disagreement now about some a person's level of expertise or the tools or resources or the money that they bring to a situation. There's a huge disagreement. Somebody's like, no, you said you was going to do this. These people are arguing. King of Swords and the King of Wands. This could actually be two different masculines. Or it's one, but they're both in the reverse. King of Wands in the reverse, King of Swords in the reverse. One person here is the mastermind. The other person likes to take action. In between them, though, is the death card. And this is two different people who have not learned from past mistakes. So this could be um, like a, a two, two, two men or women who are business partners. They've taken a lot of risk, gambled a lot. One of them is, is smarter when it comes to thinking. The other one is, is action. Together, they put their heads together to manifest things to bring about money. But the thing is, is that these two people, they're lacking when it comes to integrity. And I feel like with the hermit card here, you are the wise counsel. You are the one, like they should have listened to the advice that you gave them because you were able to illuminate that something here is not right. This could be one person. You could have been illuminated to somebody like with the king of swords in the reverse. Hey, that person that you're dealing with, I'm hearing somebody say, that's a fad. <laughs> that person isn't who you think they are. The king of swords in the reverse could absolutely be like a, a, a legal official of some type. 
and you could have told us, but that person is abusing their power. That's not who you think that is. You told this person. They didn't listen. Look, four cups in the first like, I don't want to hear that. I do not want to hear Somebody here, I'm telling you, <laughs> somebody has done a business deal with somebody, possibly with an undercover or something, and there's something wrong. It's, some, it's not good. Mm -hmm. Let's speed this along. And now the death in the reverse, they can't get out of this. Knight of Cups and the Star. Justice. You made a decision. You made a decision to take your to take your cup of love elsewhere. See, the Knight of Cups. I feel like a lot of you, you of course, you've been driven by love. You operate out of your heart space. This is this is a part of it's your soul purpose. It's your your life journey for you to go and inspire people and to help heal them and to help them. That's just who you are. You came into this person with genuine love, and you wanted to help look after them, and you call justice on this person. Judgment and justice is here. You're free from this situation. See, this is something happening outside of you. This doesn't have anything to do with you. This person, maybe they've contacted you or they want to contact you or they will. This person would like to let you know, hey, you was right about that. Yeah, the strength card in the reverse. I'm telling you, this person did something because they thought that you were weak, but it doesn't matter. The sun is in the reverse. Man, this part, the sun in the reverse, the ace of pentacles in the reverse, the strength card in the reverse. This person right now, they're powerless. And this is falling right underneath the king of wands here. This person was not, they were arrogant. They were arrogant and impulsive. They were not prepared for whatever they were doing. And this person was playing both sides. Five of pentacles, five of swords, keeping secrets. Being, this, is, this is something shady. This person was playing both sides, being shady. The Hierophant could be a Taurus here. Two of Pentacles, five of Pentacles. This person had their hand in a lot of different pots, but they stuck their, their hand in the wrong pot. And the one pot you told them, hey, you need to stay away from that, that's exactly what they went to. I don't know if this was a relationship, but it feels like a, like a partnership of some sort. This person, if they were in a relationship with somebody else, they could have been doing business with that person. Don't, so if this is an ex of yours, they could be in a relationship with somebody else, right? I don't think that that bothers you. You still manage to call this person and say, hey, I had a dream or I got a funny feeling. Listen, because they are, they could even be married because they're in a relationship or married to somebody. Them and whoever they're with could be doing business deals with other people. You still call this person and tell them, hey, Something isn't right. Five of Pentacles. Something is going to have you out in the cold. Something is going to come in and going to take all of your money and have you juggling. Something is going to lead to you feeling very five of swords, very, very, very defeated. The number five is very significant. The higher fit, which is card number five, five of Pentacles, and then the five of uh, swords, five, five, five here. There's a major change coming because the, the moon is here. Something here, somebody has been deceived. Nine of wands, seven of wands. This person is not going to be able to, to make something happen. This nine of wands is upright. But to me, it's like, I, I feel like the energy is actually in the reverse. The nine of wands is like perseverance and willpower. But this feels more like somebody just being stubborn. Somebody being stubborn. They refuse to accept that you are intuitive. They refuse to see that they were being deceived. They refuse to see that they're blind to something. And so when this offer came, Page of Cups, they didn't block it. They accepted it. Or they made an offer to something or someone. Now, Five of Cups in reverse. And the Hangman, Three of Cups. This person is stuck. They're completely stuck. There's people gossiping, lying, cheating, and they can't, the hangman in the verse, they cannot move forward. Like there's nothing more that they can do at this point. 
they're completely stuck. But this is a warning. You gave somebody a warning that there was some type of illegal activity. This is a business deal gone bad. And this person did not, they didn't heed the warning. It's nothing but bad, bad karma. Wow. So somebody they, they didn't trust. The intuitive nudge. They didn't believe it. The world. Ace of Cups in reverse. This could be somebody that you love or they claim to have loved you, but the Ace of Cups in the reverse, there's no emotional fulfillment here. Like this is this is, I mean, a lot of sadness, a lot of disappointment. Will of Fortune in the reverse. And it's karma because the eight of look, eight of wands, the ace of cups in the reverse, you're moving forward quickly onto a passionate new beginning. And here's the ace of swords in the reverse. This person, they know they failed. They failed. And this person, they're feeling like a failure because they didn't take action towards you. Instead, this person, they took action towards the devil. They don't want to come towards you. They don't want to work with you. They don't want to listen with you. The lovers, it doesn't even have to be a romantic relationship. This person did not want to listen to you. They were so busy being stubborn, unwilling to listen to you, that what they did is they found themselves listening to and working with the devil. This person is now tied into some group or organization that they can't get out of. King of Cups, the Devil, Nine of Swords, could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Capricorn energy. This person is devastated. They're sick right now. Six of Pentacles. I feel like they gave a lot, maybe even money to something, and they're about to take a major loss. For some of you too, whoever this, this person is, they're sick because you could have a King of Pentacles that's coming into your life right now. Somebody could have been trying to get you to partner up with something and you was like, no, I don't. This some this person definitely at some point they tried to get you to work with them and you was like, no, I don't, I don't get a good feeling about that. And you didn't. Because I keep saying this nine of swords, the king of cups, and then the devil. This devil is two people here. Yeah, somebody, somebody had a dream or a vision about something. King of Cups, this could be somebody you care about and you let this person know, hey, you're about to find yourself in a contract that's going to be very, very bad. You're about to get yourself in a contract with the devil. This person didn't listen. They put their thoughts, their feelings aside and they was all about, they, they wanted a generous offer. They didn't realize though that they were getting an offer from the devil. Wow. I feel like though for a lot of you, the Six of Pentacles with the Four of Wands, this is something that is happening outside of you. You may be picking up on it because you have some kind of connection to this person. So you can sense when things like this are happening, but this really has nothing to do with you. The Four of Wands is here and the Six of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles, everything is balancing out. It's the number six. Everything is balancing out. Something here could have happened in 2022 which was the year of the number six. Something could have happened in 2022. Somebody got themselves in a relationship or a business deal or both, and it was very shady. You warned this person, hey, don't work with them. Don't do this. Don't go there. They didn't listen. Now they're, I'm telling you, this person is tied into something bad, but here you are now. You have balance. You get to take time out to have your own prosperity, abundance, wish fulfillment. Yeah. See, something is still intact with you for you. This person could have come to you and asked you to do business with them. See, okay, that makes sense. That's the thing. This person could have asked you to do business with them. And you was like, no, I don't really think that that's for me or whatever. They wanted to do business with somebody else, right? But when you try to give them a warning, hey, what you're doing be careful. Be careful with those groups. This person thought that you was jealous or you were trying to be in your ego and hold them back. They're, they're realizing now that you was just genuinely trying to help them. Four of Cups, Queen, yeah, Queen of Pentacles. Because now, most likely, this person, they're about to lose everything. Everything that you have is still intact. 
And you have more abundance coming in. Three of Wands. And what's happening with them? They're stuck at a crossroads. Two of Swords. They're stuck. Seven of Pentacles. This is an investment. It's a business deal or an investment. This person is not receiving the return on this investment. They're not. Because they, they had poor leadership. This was something that they were not ready for. This person jumped the gun with this. They were not ready for this. This could, this is like when a person goes and they sign a contract or something and they, they didn't read the fine print. This may have been somebody you called and was like, I really think you should get an attorney to, to look over their paperwork. I'm like, man, I don't, I'm not doing that. I, you know, it's fine. It's fine. They, they do this all the time. We do this all the time. It's fine. And you're like, no, you, you need to be careful. Seven of Pentacles in the reverse, Ten of Wands, because if this doesn't go the way you think it's going to go, this go, this is going to turn out to be very bad for you. Knight of Wands, this person rushed to do it. The Page of Swords, they did not look over the fine print. They did not read. They did not. They had no patience. They didn't dig deeper. It was just all about what they wanted. They just were so busy, so desperate to have wish fulfillment at that time. And this person could have went and, and did something with a person from their past. Somebody that they know has been in trouble before. Somebody that they know has um, had legal situations before. They went and they made a deal with somebody that you've already warned them. Hey, don't work with those people. Do not work with those people. You warned them. Now the chariot is in the reverse. Now they can't move forward. But here you are. You're the empress. Like I said, everything is intact. And this person is upset that they cannot have a partnership with you. Because if they would have listened to you to begin with, then they would not be in this situation. Somebody here is greedy and they're in their ego and they don't listen. You told this person years ago, hey, leave that group of people alone. Stop working with them. Stop doing this. They kept doing what they wanted to do. And now, see, people don't think that karma is real because karma doesn't always come right away. It can be years later before you actually realize that something is wrong. It's years later in this situation that somebody is realizing whatever they invested in, it was something illegal or it was tying them to the kingdom of darkness. Now they're like, oh my goodness. And to, to make matters even worse, they can't come towards you for any kind of protection. They're no longer on your prayer list. So now, whatever they're going through, the friendship that you once had with this person or relationship where you would stand in the gap and protect them, you can't protect them anymore. Because if you keep protecting this type of person, they're never going to learn. They will. This person will never learn. This is the kind of person who constantly has to hit really, really like low points in life for them to learn because they're so prideful, egotistical, and stubborn. This is going to cost this person a lot, a lot, because they, they just, very naive. Like, this person is overzealous. Like, they want to be a leader so bad that they're naive, and they get themselves wrapped up in the wrong situations with the wrong people. And it's purely just out of greed. So this person, because they won't listen to you, hmm. I tell people all the time, when God sends a messenger to you, <laughs> when you sit there and you ignore that messenger, you're pretty much, you're literally ignoring the voice of God. So when he has come to save you and to protect you because you won't listen, here you are now. Wow. Wow. Family and death. Wow. For one, whatever bond you have with this person is over. There's an ending here. If you looked at this person like family, that's over. The love and looking at this person like they're family and all, that's, that's over. There is no more bond here. Which also means that if you looked at this person like family and you were trying to protect them, when death comes for them, there's nothing you can do. When endings come for them, there's nothing you can do. They didn't listen. See, we're in a stage now, if you're not with me, you're against me. When I, when I was going out of my way to protect you, 
and you didn't want to listen, I'm not protecting people that don't want to listen anymore. And and I can say that in my own personal life. People now in my life who don't want to listen to me, I'm like, okay, I'm done. And you will you will see and find out the hard way that when I was telling you about those dreams and the people around you, that because you didn't want to listen, because it looked like it was okay right then, sometimes God, it'll take years for you to see the truth about a person. So you don't want to listen to me today, that's fine. But a year from now or five years from now, when that situation comes to destroy you, you're going to remember, hey, Tori told me about that. But most people, they're so, they want everything to happen now. You have the Perseverance card here. So something has been challenging. But you, you've managed to, to still, I feel, come out okay. Fright. Somebody is paranoid. Somebody is paranoid now because, like I said, they're frightened because you've withdrawn. There is no bond here. You don't see this person as a friend, family, or anything. It's over. I feel like a lot of you now, you're focusing on something for yourself now. This is somebody that you could have had a family with. This could be an ex, you know, spouse. You could have had children with this person. You're off now creating something for yourself. Even if this was a family member. Somebody now is afraid. They're depressed. They're paranoid. They're feeling guilty because you're rejecting them and you've withdrawn yourself. Yep. Look at that. This was all about control. So there's a control freak out here who has lost control and is going through a, a major ending in their life. And they're realizing that you were the one that warned them about this ending coming. And they can't even come towards you now for help. It's over. <laughs> it's over. Yep. This person is living in a nightmare now. Suffering. Real bad. Or that's what's called. And this is karma. Justice. Because you were once in an alliance with this person. You were loyal to this person. You can sleep just fine at night. Sweet dream. You can sleep just fine and continue Moving on with your life. You told this person about this collaboration. You told this person to stop spending time with certain people. Stop going to certain places. Doing certain things. They did not listen. And so this is the price that you pay. A lot of people don't recognize that God and angels will speak to you through any person. When God puts a certain person in your life to give you guidance. And you sit there and you ignore the guidance that they're giving you. And you refuse to see that sometimes the enemy will trick you and there's illusions around you. You have to learn the hard way. Somebody here, it's unfortunate. They, they're just going to have to learn the hard way. But it's really not even your, your problem anymore. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. This person is entitled. They want something to come to them without them actually doing the work. They're lazy. Very poor work ethic. They're lazy. Eight of swords. This person is always in their head thinking about some kind of plan. Temperance. Sagittarius energy. The fool in the reverse. This is being ignorant. Not even go and just gullible. Not understanding something. Not realizing when, when you're being reckless. And now the tower is about to hit. The tower in the reverse. Now somebody is trying to block something from happening. They can't. The damage has already been done here. I just keep hearing, get out. You told this person, get out. Get out of this situation. Get out of that group. Leave that alone. Like, don't do that. Don't, don't drink. Don't drink and drive. You told this person. You told this person something, you prayed for this person, and they, they thought you were a joke. So now whatever is happening to them, that's their business. Unexpected income. Mature man. See, somebody was hoping to get some money from a mature man, and now they're concerned. Wealthy man. These are, these are men. I feel like you could be a divine thing that you warned somebody. I know that that's a deal. And you're, and you're looking for a big breakthrough, but you need to get away from working with those people. They don't want to listen. Distant horizons. You can be at a distance from somebody. 
Yeah. You could be the main female at a distance from someone. They were in a community with a, pe a group of people who were working hard on doing something. These people now are in despair. You told them. You told whoever this mature man is or this wealthy man, whomever. I feel like you told this wealthy man who wanted even more money. You need to be careful about doing this. This could be two different people. A mature man and another person. This was two older people. Whoever this wealthy man is, they could be fairly, like, of course, younger than these people that they were doing business with. These two people have gray hair. And remember, I told you it was something about these people. It's like these people, they travel from a different place. Somebody did business with some people at a distance. And their background is different. They have a different background. They, 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 whoever this man is that you know that you were connected to, this wealthy man, it was something that they didn't know about doing business with these type of people. They didn't know something about their background. But it was a business deal. It was an exchange. This wealthy man just wanted money. I feel like you were at a distance and you told this person, I don't know if it's right for you. Oh, wow. I didn't see the marriage card hiding here. You told this person, this could have been somebody that you were once in a relationship with, married to, or that you wanted to marry. You told them, it's something about these, these, this pe these people that you're working with in the community. Somebody doesn't have your best interest at heart. This person laughed at you. Because they're the wealthy man. They're like, well, who are you? You're just the main female. You're not the privileged lady. Why should I listen to you? So they thought. Hmm. I'm trying to go on a, on a journey to hell right now. People don't get enough of underestimating people. <laughs> but God will put you in situations like this where you go and you judge people. And then you have to learn the hard way. Yeah, see, look, you have a gift. And your gift is you get downloads of messages of concern. You was telling this person, it's something about this contract that's not right. You're doing business with an official person. Especially if this was something illegal. You may have been telling, something about that person is not right. That person is not who you think they are. They wanted that money so bad. So they went for it. Anything else? False person. False person, look. Poverty coffin. And I'm telling you, for some of you, what, what a lot of people don't see is whoever this person is, this wealthy man that you're connected to, they're in a relationship with somebody else. They're in a relationship with somebody else. This couple, they wanted money. They did some kind of business deal with some people from a, a far away place at a distance. You warn this person, even at a distance, hey, I had a dream or something. Don't move forward with that. They was like, no. They went right on with it. And whoever this false person is could be a Leo. Now they're about to be in poverty and experiencing nothing but endings in their life. But this is karma. This is the same, but this person always has always chosen other people over you. Every single time they choose somebody else, they never, ever want to actually appreciate you. And this person did not believe that you actually had some type of gift. You could have a prophetic gift. They didn't want to believe it. So they ignored the warning. But here you are now. I feel like you put in the work, the real, the, the solid way. You didn't sell your soul, take any shortcuts, and that's why you're privileged. Now this person, they want to come in and try to steal what you have. And this person is also trying to steal away your opportunity now to be with the main male and have a brand new beginning. Main male and the child is here. See, this is somebody here who just abuses their power because they think they're wealthy. But see, it's a lot of things that money, money can't buy. <laughs> it's certain situations that no amount of money is going to get you out of.